M0FXP, welcome to my channel. We are on the Yesu FT70D using RT systems and we're on a Mac PC. And my Mac PC is a Mac OS Monterey 12.6.6. .6. Go to RT systems and put in your serial number and call sign after purchasing the Yesu FT70. And you just put that into their search, just go Yesu. FT70 and they've got a system for Windows and for Mac so you can buy the cable we've got the yellow cable here that's plugged into my computer and my radio at the moment and the software and you can buy a package there and get all of it in one go or you can buy the cable and software separately which is handy and you pay extra for a, for a CD so once you've done that you'll get this file when you download it, it looks like this zip here and when you double click it you'll get this window if I double click that window there, it will look like this. Now, if you need the driver, you double click this, follow instructions, and you might have to enable enable permissions uh, to do that. But mine didn't need it actually, so we've got the software here working great. So let's uh, find it. I put it on my desktop here somewhere. It is there. I'll put it down here. Just been tinkering around with it, and it worked well. So double click. The thing you've got to get used to when you're using the Mac system because it does lay out differently that's that's where I've been using it the instructions are at the top here look programmer communications edit file it's all at the very top and I'm not used to doing that so we try and if you can see if we can clear this screen really let me clear there you are clear okay and you've got new windows here you know close close you whenever you do anything on RT systems it, it gives you a new window so we close them all even that one there close so I'm right clicking and closing so let's do a let's do a just double click it again and then we'll start from scratch so where's my little shortcut here and then we're going to go communications get data from radio for the first time Okay, I had to double click and reopen it. So we'll go communications, get data from radio. We're gonna click overwrite file, we'll go yes. Then it's telling us to turn it off and hold down the F button while turning on. It now says clone on the screen. And then we're gonna click okay. And then we have to press the band key. We press the band and it's going to read everything that you can see on the screen already. Now you, you won't have everything, yours will be different. So while that goes through, at the top here, we'll just look. Look, you've got get data, send data. You've got a settings menu and bank names. We'll look at these in a sec. Edit, you've got cut, copy, paste, insert, delete channel. So you can move all these channels around, paste them move them up and down, you can set a priority channel, you can delete channels, you've got file, you can import and export a data file, a CSV file, you can print things off. You've got an about section here as well, it's interesting. That's telling us what version we've got. Services, services and preferences. Eat. Right, okay, so it's read now. And it's overwritten what was there before. The radio stays into stays in clone mode, so we can now change things. And let's just say we want to add a load of repeaters. Like, to change an existing channel, you just double click it. Start typing the frequencies here. Receive, transmit. You can put in an offset. Offset direction minus plus or minus. Operating mode. You've got digital narrow there. Even AM because it does do airbound this one. You can put your names here, set a tone. There's no tone when it's digital and so on and so on. And if you widen this out, there's more, even more Look, you've got your banks and everything. So let's just say you want to add a load of repeaters. What you would do is go file. So look now, go to external data. Files again, file, external data. 
across to the right, then go repeat a book search. And I've got some parameters in here, Bristol, 25 miles. We can select different available bands as well. Click OK, and it's gonna find them. And if I do a wider radius, it will find more. Now our row ended up 128. So if we put in 129 here, then select all, and then apply, it's gonna add them here. But we can cut and paste things. We can move things around, we can move them up and down. That's what this section's for here. Move a channel up, let's select a channel here, let's try it. Select to the left, and then we'll go move up. And it moves up, you see, you get the idea. We can cut, paste, we can change everything. We don't need that one anymore. And when we're ready, when we've done everything we want, let's have a look at the settings menu before we send it all across. We'll go radio menu settings. You've got lots of settings here, all settings that you can do on the radio. But what I like about the RT systems, they really delve into all your settings, don't they? So all kinds of stuff here, look. Common settings. Not really sure why it's got Dave there. Let's remove that to A-N-D-R-E-A-S-N-0-F-X-B. Oh, it just fits Andrea. <laughs> Should I just put my call sign in? M-0-F-X-B, there you go. Um, as well, operating settings, loads of things there. Just check it all out and read it all through. Mic gain, squelch, dual watch, DTMF groups. I like, uh, let me go now, star. I think now star three, four, one, five, two, two is one I use. And then wires, XDGID stuff. Setting bank names. Don't really use banks, but there they are. Click OK. What else we got here? Info about. We looked at that one, didn't we? Programmer, RT systems. Register and check for updates as well, which it does. All files are up to date. Remember, this is with Mac, yeah? Uh, edit. Moving channels around. Oh, yeah, export. You can export a CSV file. I've got a file here. So, look, that's going to export a CSV or import. Yeah, you can do both. Cancel. And you can export a data file. So save as, and it'll be a data file which will be everything. So give it a go, see how you get on with it. Let's send it back to the radio. So communications, send data to radio. And this time we press the mode key, which is on the other side. So let's just click OK, then quite quickly press mode, which I've done. And if it's error, just do it again. That's what I find, just do it again with this. Just pressing it now. Click OK. I press the mode, and there it's all going to write everything from the screen that you can see into the radio. So I hope this helps you out. The cable is the USB, I think it's 57B. Can't really miss it, it's a big yellow thing. And I'll, I'll do a separate video learning on Windows as well. This is a, a Mac PC. So bye for now, 7-3, all the best.